There, dear. Now you have your vineyard. You can't get ahead in this world unless you are ruthless. The strong survive. It is lovely, isn't it? I deserve it, don't I? Jezebel knew that her god, Baal, did not have eyes to see. But there is a god in heaven that sees every act and never forgets. Elijah, Ahab has gone down to the vineyard of Naboth to possess it. Go and meet him there. Deliver my word unto him. Ahab, God told me to tell you that you have killed an innocent man and taken his property. For this and your other sins, in the very place where the dogs lick the blood of Naboth, they shall lick your own blood. Has my enemy found me here? You cannot hide from God. Because you traded your soul for possessions, God will bring evil upon all your family. All your children and relatives will die, even the little ones. You have provoked God to anger. The dog shall eat Jezebel by the wall of your house. When a member of your family dies in the city, the dogs will eat his flesh. If they die in the field, the buzzards will eat them. None will be buried with honor. This is the word of the Lord. It shall come to pass. Please, I will start sacrificing to Jehovah. All that Elijah has said has come to pass. Ahab now sacrificed to Jehovah, but he did not follow him with a pure heart. Much later, the false prophets advised King Ahab on a military issue. Go up and fight at Ramoth Gilead, and God will give you a great victory. And all the prophets agree on this? King Ahab, Jehovah has spoken to me. You will go up to Ramoth Gilead, and there you will be killed in battle. Don't pay any attention to Micaiah. He is not the only prophet of Jehovah. There are 400 of his prophets who say that there will be great riches and success at Ramoth Gilead. I hate Micaiah. He is so negative in everything he says. King Ahab, you have worked evil in the sight of God. You consult false prophets who take money for their services. They preach lies. I saw God sitting on the throne, and all the angels of heaven were standing before him. He asked, Since Elijah told Ahab he was going to die, he has been very careful not to get in harm's way. He must be persuaded to go into battle. Who can persuade Ahab to go to battle at Ramoth Gilead, where he will be killed? And one said one thing, and another offered another suggestion. After discussing it, one of the angels stepped forward and said, I have an idea that will work. I will go down and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his false prophets. I will tell them that Ahab should go into battle. That is a great idea. They will prophesy that he is going to be victorious. But when he gets into battle, I will have him killed. Go then. You think the spirit of Jehovah left me and spoke to you? You will know who has the spirit of Jehovah in the day when you go into an inner room to hide for fear of your life. What is this? Another prophecy? Nah. Put this fellow in prison and feed him just enough to keep him alive until I come back from the battle. Then we will kill him. If you return from the battle alive, then I am a false prophet and would deserve to die. That was a good idea, disguising yourself as an ordinary soldier. They will never know you are the king, and our men are doing well. I can't wait to see that prophet's face when you come back alive. Yeah, and this armor will protect me against any arrows. A soldier shot an arrow high in the air not aiming at anyone in particular, just hoping to hit one of his enemies. What? It is bleeding, I 
Bradley. Hang on! I'm afraid he is dead. The arrow found the one spot that was not protected by armor. I guess it was just his time to die. Oh God, no! Put his body in Naboth's vineyard until we have time to deal with it properly. Just as Elijah had said, the dogs were licking the blood of Ahab right under Jezebel's window. He was the first of his household. Others were to follow. After washing the blood from Ahab's chariot, the soldier returned to the palace. Where is King Ahab? Is he celebrating his victory? You fool! You are not a prophet of God. You are a liar. Ahab is dead just as Micaiah, the prophet of Jehovah, declared. But it can't be! All the devout men agreed Ahab would be victorious. Not all. Not Micaiah, whom you slapped and put in prison. When the people hear of this, they will have your head. You are free to go. Ahab is dead. Yes, I know. And no doubt the dogs have licked his blood as God said. Jezebel will be next, and all that are related to Ahab. God has spoken. I must hide. Oh no. Micah said I would know who had the Spirit of God on the day I hid in a small room inside of a room.